Hey, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Herr Buda, and today I'm going to show you how to cut your hair at home. This is a video that is not popular with my colleagues. I have to say, I'm going to show you not a special technique to do it very quickly. I'm going to show you how hair is actually cut it at the hair salon. There is no quick way to cut your hair like in a hair salon. I have seen many techniques on YouTube, even from my good colleague, and I think he's a great hairdresser and a good YouTuber. I don't come for him. I don't want to roast Brad Mondo instead of two ponytails. I see many many times on YouTube, but he's putting four ponytails. Okay, it's a better thing. So the longer version in the back, it's already a little bit gone. Still, it's no good technique. Every time you put it in a ponytail, there are some sections that are longer than another section. So I'm going to show you the only way to have a straight line, to have a good haircut at home. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on TikTok. So, I have a mannequin. I want to show you if you are putting like these techniques. First that we saw was for long hair. You put a ponytail here, you put a ponytail on the other side, and then you cut off these ponytails. Of course, everybody has seen these hair fails. The hair in the back is so long, pulled to the front, so it's a line backwards, so it's longer in the back. A colleague of mine and a very impressive YouTuber has come up with a new technique. So there are four ponytails. So you put one here and you put one here. It will be less longer in the back than the previous technique. That's already better. But if you are pulling your hair in a ponytail and even it is a small ponytail, you can see the hair on the sides are longer than in the middle. And if you are pu pulling this ponytail a little bit to the front to cut your hair because you are taking this ponytail and you put it in the front so you can cut it, then you're still pulling this hair a little bit more to the front and you will have, again, not a straight line. What do you want if you want to cut your hair? A straight line. It's nearly not possible to cut your hair by yourself without any help. This is very important. The first thing you do is you wash your hair, clean hair, and you make sure it's well combed so there are no uh, knocks inside. You will take four sections of your hair. So one section is in the middle of your hair. Through the back, make sure that these sections are good. Take them with time. Make sure that your hair is really good, wet. The more wet your hair is, the more secure your haircut will be. Then take a section, if the front to the back is taken, then take a section from ear, top of the head to ear. A good sectioning is the beginning of a good haircut or a good hair color. Sectioning is always so important that you always have to consider is my sectioning good? Then I will start working. We have four sections. Two in the front, two in the back. Okay? Then you will take a fine section in the neck. A very fine section and you put this up. Fine section and then this one is going up. Then you will have a fine string in the back. Enough water. 
Something you have to be careful with, if you cut hair, you don't pull on your hair very strongly. If you pull on your hair, so the natural fall of your hair is gone, and then you release your hair after cutting, it jumps up, and then you don't have a straight line. And then it's shorter than you want. You take your comb, and you cut your hair straight. So if you do it with your comb, then you will not pull your hair. No surprise here. If you want to do it with your fingers, you can do that, but don't pull it. Just loosen it up and follow your fingers. If it's possible with your comb, it's better with your comb. So the first section is done. If it's possible, cut a few inches longer than you normally want. It jumps up when it's dry, that's the first thing. And the second thing, you can always cut more. If it's cut it, if it's gone, it's gone. You can do nothing about it anymore. It's better to cut less and you can cut always more and more and more. After this is done, you will take the next section. Fine section. Fine section. Why should you take a fine section? Because, and again, wetten your hair. This is very important. If you take this next section, then you can see the first cutting line through your second section. So if you comb it down, you can see the first line that you have been cut. Then you cut it off. You follow this first line. Make sure that it's a straight line. Don't be so easily happy. And you go up like this. Every time you take a fine section, comb it down, follow the straight line. Fine section, comb it down, straight line. Every time you're following your first line. So your first line is very important. If it's finished and you are at the top of your hair, then you will start at the side. You will take here a fine section. You comb it down and you will see the end of the line here in the back. On the side, you will cut a little bit longer. So you have diagonally a little bit longer. Why is that? Because your hair in the back is growing until here. You have a whole section over your ear that it's like a big section that's not growing any hair. So if you brush your hair, this will be more volume than in the back. If you are cutting your line on the side straight and you brush your hair, then your hair will go like this. And then you have a line diagonally to the back. So you cut your hair a little bit longer in the front and then you will have a straight line. This is for a bob. If you have long hair, then you will cut it straight. That's no problem. But if you want to have a bob line, then you will cut it a little bit longer in the front so it comes straight when you dry it. This is very, very, very important. And this is how you cut hair. This is fine sections. You take fine sections. Every time you take fine sections, you comb it down. So it's a straight line. You wet it. It's a straight line. And then you follow the line and you cut it. Every time the same thing, line cutting. So you understand in the back, it's very difficult to do your hair in the back. If you are cutting it like this, you cannot see it. It's really difficult. You can try it, film it, and send it to me, but it's really, really, really difficult. So ask for help. Take fine sections, comb it down, cut it off. In other sections, comb it down, cut it off. If you do it in the ponytail technique, it's not good. You have a crooked line. It's not a straight line. So this is 
how you cut hair, fine sections, fine sections, every time I say with coloring techniques, with cutting techniques, it's always fine sections. And it's the same thing with long hair, with uh, a bob line. With a bob line, you have to make sure that you cut it a little bit longer in the front so it comes straight. So have you learned from this video? Have you seen how you cut hair at home? It's a small video, but it shows you how important these fine sections are. It's not so difficult. You have to make fine sections and cut it straight. All these ponytail techniques, I don't believe them. Do it in this way and ask for help. Be secure and be safe with the scissors because they cut very good. Buy good scissors, not kitchen scissors. This is really important. Don't do it with kitchen scissors. Have you enjoyed this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. And all I'm going to say is ciao kiss.